What's up guys, I'm Video Bob. This is part three of building my rehearsal studio here in Las Vegas. And uh, really it's part one of a demonstration I wanna do for D drums. Now, I'm gonna try to explain this the best I can because this uh, may not make sense. I'm a D drum sponsored artist. I am not a drummer. How the heck did I get that, you're wondering. Okay, well, let me try to explain. I used to work for a very famous drummer named Vinnie Paul. I'm sure you know who he is, but if you don't, he used to play drums in a band called Pantera, later in Damage Plan, and then a band called Hell Yeah. Now, when he was working with D-Drum, I was working for his record company. I used to drive his bus, I used to drive his limo, I used to tour with him, I used to do his music videos, graphics, do social media, these kind of things for him. And when he transitioned from his former drum company at Pearl over to D-Drum, they made him a great offer. You know, he, he was only getting just an artist signature snare when he was with Pearl, and D-Drum said, we want you to be part of the Armadillo family, just like your brother uh, has the Dean Dimebag guitar. Uh, we want the whole family there with Vinnie Paul on D-Drum. So they offer a signature snare for Vinnie Paul, uh, and they had an entire drum kit and hardware for him. Um, and they also have some other things as well that they sell, including his uh, D-Drum trigger set which my good friend Eric Singer, who plays in KISS, uses on his Pearl drums. So even though Eric is playing Pearl drums, always has, he chose uh, the D-Drum trigger system and has for many years. Um, I believe that they make really good quality products, even though I'm not a drummer. Um, I've seen drums, uh, I've been around them, they seem really nice. <laughs> So I'm putting together this rehearsal space. I am a singer, I do have a band. I'm putting together a new band here in Las Vegas and I needed some drums for the rehearsal room that's gonna be used both for my band and for my other musician friends here in Vegas to come and play. And I told D-Drum uh, that I wanted the new hybrid, it's not new, I want the hybrid six uh, uh, kit in both red and white. I know what you're thinking. Why didn't I get the black and red one? Black and red's your favorite color, Bob? I thought the white and red would pop a little bit more. You could throw a little color on it. I didn't want the drums to disappear into the background when we were doing a gig. And I think the white pops and we do 80s music and I really think it's gonna look good. So I ordered the, the six kit uh, with an extra kick because I want that double kick. So, hey, without any further ado, let's start opening the stuff I have not seen any of it in person. Let's check it out. Um, the extra kick is a little lighter in the box than the kick that came with the kit. So I'm assuming there's probably other hardware with it. I'm gonna edit out a lot of the box opening so you'll see the picture jump because quite frankly, you don't need to see me open a box. Oh, wow, you know what? I think this is the head. Okay, so suggestion for D-Drum packaging department. I mean, I would put some kind of thing there that says be careful cutting. I could have cut into this, you know, with this knife, because this is right on top. And I bet it's happened before. This is both front and back heads, so they probably put some stuff in there. Looks like a clear back. I know you're gonna say, don't drop that, you're gonna bend it. Why not tighten it down? It'll, it'll iron itself out. I'm just gonna have to make a huge mess over here. This video is kinda gonna be hilarious because there's gonna be I, you know, I am not a drummer. I know a little bit. I do want to kind of learn how to play drums. I find myself playing air drums more than I play air guitar. I'll tell you, there's nothing more fun than riding around in your car with a professional drummer like with Vinnie Paul or with Eric Singer and watching them air drum to songs. 
it's an interesting perspective seeing some of the greatest drummers in the world play air drums. Yeah, there's a lot of hardware in here. And I've asked Eric and our other good friend, Brent Fitz, if they would come over and help me put this thing together. Eric had to go play with Kiss, uh, so he was busy. But he said, there's the key, he said he would come over and help me later. There's gonna be a lot of you that are drummers that are gonna be watching me and you're gonna be shaking your head or laughing at me because I am a complete novice. I, I don't know, well, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what a lot of this stuff is called. I just know, you know, I know how to put together an erector set. <laughs> but there's a, like, I don't know what this is. Um, I'm gonna assume this is maybe, maybe it holds the tom, yeah. I don't know. Okay, so this... Okay, so I'm guessing this is probably... joins the two Tom holders together. Right? Am I right? That's the other Tom holder. I think. Wait, no, I got another one of these. What do I have two of these? Maybe symbol stands? I hope there's instructions. This is why I wanted the white and red. Look how that pops. And I wanted the hybrid system. It's got the triggers built in with the connections right on them. Just a little bit more convenience. But I love the black and red with the white. You throw a little color on this. I guess this is the floor tom because it's got the three legs. You know, I was expecting it to be a little bigger than that. I've heard that before. You know, my Vinnie Paul kit that I have, which we'll do in another video, uh, has a much larger floor tom. So, uh, so that's gonna go over here somewhere. I expected it to be larger. But this kick, oh my, oh, eh. <laughs> okay. And there's the other one. Nice wood. I've heard that before too. Okay, no, I haven't. All right. So, here is our kick drum. Has some feet. Um, I probably should have gotten a I should have ordered a drill adapter for this key, and maybe I already have a tool to do it. It's gonna be an awful lot of work to put all this hardware together, and I don't wanna do it by hand. I've watched our drum techs, Patrick King, P. King, our drum tech, uh, for hell yeah. Before him, we had uh, um, Mr. Cat, Mr. Brooks. All right, this is a pain in the ass. I'm gonna... It's well wrapped and packaged, I'll say that. Ah, oh, cool, they gave me some sticks. Thank you, D-Drum. Wow, they give you everything you need. I did not expect there to be any sticks in there. This is gonna be a very long video.
Let's see the difference in the secondary kick. Let's see what's in this. Okay, there's my heads. So basically, uh, when you buy the secondary kick, you're only getting the kick, nothing else included. It has its own feet built in. So that's all you get. Grab this hoop. Now going back to some of the story I was telling earlier, like how am I a D-drum artist? Okay. Well, I'm not really an artist uh, as a musician. I'm a graphic artist. Now we're going to do a separate video on Vinny's signature D-drum snare, his Dragon kit. Uh, they had a Reflex kit it was called, uh, and then also a, a Maple kit. They didn't make very many of them, they're pretty rare. I have one. Uh, and we'll do a whole video on that. So basically, um, we're, we're going to do a whole video on that, but I, I helped them get a hold of the dragon design uh, that went on to the drum. Little Vinnie Paul tattoo that I have, we'll, we'll talk about that, uh, is what ended up in the logos and things. I did videos and, and whatnot for Vinny. Uh, you've probably seen the D-Drum video of the me and Vinny did in his garage, uh, demonstrating, oh, what is this, what is this drum? Oh, are there, oh, I understand now. There's two different four toms. Oh, okay. There's a larger and a smaller floor tom for that bump, 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 bump. There, that's what it is. Okay, two floor toms. Nice. I wonder what the teacher's gonna look like this year. Okay, let's see what's in this box. Oh. I, I had already cut this open, but I hadn't really... Oh, I did take a peek. I took a peek at this. And you know what? Trying to get these boxes out is going to be a bitch, so... I'm just going to dump them out. Like that. This one I had taken a peek at. I think it's the snare. Oh yeah. And this is a good looking, this is a good looking piece. This is why I went with the white. Most people go with the black and red, I get it. But man, look how cool this thing looks. Up close. It really pops in the light. There's something about, I just love the look of this. And I thought, you know, when you splash some color on it, you know, you put some LEDs around it, you can make it any color you want. Put stickers on it for that punk rock vibe. You know, it wouldn't be hard to pull the hardware off and paint it. It's a very cool color. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so these are going to be the toms. I heard a secret down in Uncle Tom's cabin. I heard a secret that I just can't tell. There's the little one. Or maybe that's the little one. Okay. This seems pretty good quality to me for the price of these. These things are pretty cheap. 
in my opinion. I mean, as far as the, the cost of them. I mean, this seems like really good quality to me. They call me Cuban Pete. I'm the king of the rumba beat. Okay. When I play the maracas, they go chick chicky boom, chick chicky boom. Okay. Yes, this is the larger top. Nice. Okay. All right, let's talk about hardware. Went with the RX series. Uh, it's affordable and it's available. Um, I inquired about, you know, at the time of this video, I asked about some of the other hardware they had and, um, well, it just wasn't available. They said, it's on the boat. It'll be here someday. All right, this is the hi-hat stand and pedal. I went with the uh, floor version rather than the one that attaches to the drum. I, I, I just thought that, that seemed a little sturdier to me. Maybe you in the comments, you drummers can tell me, do you prefer your hi-hat attached to your, your, your stand and your kick or do you like it independent? What's, what's your preference? Put that over here where the hi-hat will be. I'd like to know. I could always change it out. I'll ask some of my drummer friends what they think. I don't plan on getting a, a bigger rack or anything like a Gibraltar or anything. I'm just gonna kinda keep it mostly stock. Um, I mean, look, I'm looking at this stuff. I mean, got some plastic. You got an adjuster here. It's okay, this kid isn't gonna be touring, you know? So we're not gonna be breaking it down and moving it around very often. Probably what'll happen is if we decide to, um, you know, start playing uh, gigs, I'll probably get another set or my drummer will already have their own drum set. As again, I told you this kit here is for the rehearsal space so that when people come over to rehearse and hang, you know, there'll just be a drum kit already set up. And being that it's a hybrid, we'll set it up in a way that it'll go directly into our recorder, or we could set it up as electronic if they want to do that, use the triggers for sound effects, and they can configure it any way they want. I know you can, there's people out there that are going to go, yeah, just get the trigger kit and put it on whatever kit you want. But I thought it was really cool the way this was set up. Okay, here's a three-headed standy jubber. That's what I'm going to call it from now on. The three-headed standy jubber. That was my nickname in prison. Looks like there was some hardware in that bag. Let me go retrieve it. I felt a little weight in it. Let me see what I missed. Another key. Can't have enough of those. Thank you, D-Drum, for the key. I'm sure that there's probably just a socket end that will fit this from my little drill. Okay. Um, another one of those stand head things. And another one of those. What is this called in the comments? R remember, I'm a new guy. Let's pretend that I'm a wannabe new drummer and this is my first drum kit and I'm putting it together in my garage. How cool is that, right? Because you know, I, I, I legitimately do want to come in here and maybe I'll learn to play drums. You know, I've been a singer for a long time, but I think it's time I start loading equipment. Like a, like a real musician. 
All right. Another beefy set of hardware. This looks like some cymbal stands. Now we're gonna talk about cymbals soon. Um, you're gonna love the cymbals that we chose to go with this kit. I think you're gonna be impressed. Without peeking, okay, without, uh, well maybe, you know, the thumbnail might give it away. I don't know what, what thumbnail I'm gonna use. I need to make a mental note. Don't use the thumbnail of the symbols. Um, another key, all right. <laughs> Can't have enough of those. So this is just a bunch of stands. That's what this is. Cause I ordered, I ordered extras. So what symbols would you put? What size would you put? Go down to the comments and post the ones that you would use with this kit. If you're a drummer and why? Now the symbols I chose are the pasty, I think is how you say them. That's what Eric says you call them, pasty. You would have thought I would have honored my buddy Vinny and went with Sabians because I believe that's who he was. I don't know if he, he I'm trying to remember if that's who he was still sponsored by, but when you see the symbols I got, you're, it'll all make sense. There's another key. Can't have enough of those. I'm getting a nice collection. I'm gonna get a key out of every one of these. One thing I do remember, it's like, you know, hanging around drummers. They're always looking for a drum key. Can't have enough of those. All right, nice stand collection here. This has got to be boring as shit to watch me unbox hardware. And just throw it around. I don't give a fuck. Listen, if that hurts this, if that hurts this shit, then, you know, wait till we start beating on it. Okay. For kick pedals, I chose these, the quick silvers. I thought, well, honestly, I did not make, whoops. I did not make my decision based on any musical talent or experience. I made my decision because they quite frankly looked cool. And I thought that this was really neat. I wanna show you something. If you haven't seen these before. All right, first of all, they got red on them. They have a solid link, looks like a cast magnesium connection rod from the pedal to the, what is this, the hammer? Is that what you call it? I've seen that connectivity with little bicycle chains, with nylon and leather straps. This is a solid bar. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it seemed like that would eliminate all slack and it's just not gonna break. I mean, you're not gonna break this. I will say though, that this is like a smooth, you know, aluminum. There's a lot of players, they like to play barefoot or in their socks. Vinny would always put grip tape here. He would take grip tape and put it on there. I have Vinny Paul's original prototype pedals that he got from D-Drum that were part of his hardware collection. And we'll show those off on another collection, uh, connection later. But you can see there's like a, this clamp here where you can clamp it down to the edge of, I guess, your hoops. And um, it, it, for, the, for the money, it seemed like a heck of a piece of equipment. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna save these for when we actually put them together. It looks like there's quite a bit of, um, 
stuff. Is this, uh, guys, tell me in the comments, is this called a, a mallet or a hammer or a stick or what is it? But you've got your choice of a soft side and a harder side. And you have some other little hardware in here. Just gonna set this aside. Okay, you probably saw this sitting uh, on the sidelines over there. This is, uh, let me move these out of the way. <clears throat> it is a cool little symbol carry bag. It's actually got this neat little deal here where you can uh, roll it, because these things are heavy, obviously. The handle, whoops, and I'm clumsy. Also a built-in stick carrier there. I thought that was cool. Even though we're not gonna probably be taking these and gigging with them, I wanted a, a case just to have. And this is made, it'll carry very large symbols. I'm not sure the, ex, the actual larger size it'll take, but it looked like a, a nice piece of kit. So I went ahead and got that. I mean, if I was a drummer, I would want this. Just saying. Okay. Some other stuff I got, speaking of stick bags, and speaking of, so, speaking of our friend Vinnie Paul, this is the Vinnie Paul D-Drum uh, stick bag. It's a cool um, snake skin. He always wore snake skin cowboy boots. Has his little autograph and his picture on there. Same autograph I have tattooed on me. Okay. So this little autograph and this little cartoon drawing, let me get closer to the camera so you can see it. All right. They needed this for different promo items. And so I told Vinny, come over to the house. I need you to do some autographs and some little pictures. So he took a sheet of paper and he drew some of those little characters of himself and some autographs. We picked the one that we wanted. I scanned it in at high resolution, sent it to them. And uh, that's what they use. I have the original piece of paper that has that on there. And that's what I ended up tattooing on my arm when he died, a real small version of it. I didn't want it to be too ostentatious, too big, but but his little picture and autograph, that's the same one that's here and that's used on all the, the products and things. So that's my relationship to D-Drum and, um, you know, with Vinnie Paul, is that, you know, when they needed those kinds of things, I was there to provide it for him. So <clears throat> I also, hold on. Now, when I was ordering the drums, since I knew they were hybrid, I went ahead and ordered D-Drum's line of um, custom cables that are made for hooking up to these drums. They've got a 90 degree head on one side uh, and uh, the quarter inch on the other so that you could plug it right into your, your snake. Because um, you're going to want to run a snake over to the drum, get yourself like a, a 12 head snake or something. And with, with that, you'll be able to plug in all the different drums, mic your cymbals, um, and uh, send that, you know, straight to your head and um, also have microphones in case they want to sing. Sometimes they want to sing, sometimes they can sing, sometimes they can't sing. Now they also sent me, I should have been wearing this the whole time. I'm so sorry, D-Drum, but I just opened the box. I'll, I'll wear it in the next one. So they sent me some cool D-Drum swag. So if you're a drummer and you want to get out there and you next time you go to a show, you want to wear some swag, go to ddrum.com and get a D-Drum shirt so that you can promote the brand. Everybody will know that you're on team D-Drum, Armadillo, Vinny Paul. Cool. All right. Let's see what else we got in the box. All right. Did anybody guess which symbols I ended up getting? Did you figure it out? Of course, I went with Pasty's Color Sound. This is the 20 inch ride. So, I mean, come on. You, this was, you could see this coming down Fifth Avenue. Of course, I'm gonna get the Pasty Color Sounds. Okay, because, I mean, the red went with an 18 crash. 
What do you think? Is that the right size, guys? I didn't want to go too big. You know, it's not that big a kit. We're in a small room. 18 crash. Let's see what we got here. And also a 16. Okay. I'm just going to lay these out. <laughs> and I got to tell you, the bag that Pasty gives you with the symbols, they, it doesn't even fit the symbols. I mean, it was nice of them to give you a bag, but Pasty, come on. So I went with the 14 high hats, their natural color on the other side. I don't know if that's for sound or they're just trying to be cheap. <laughs> But, um, so, I went with 14, 16, 18, and 20. So the 20 inch China Ride, you know, I could have got the 22, I could have got 19s, I could have got 17s, I could have went up an inch bigger all the way around, which is what she prefers, guys. But the thing about it was I figured I didn't, I, there's not that much room in here. I don't know if that angry little inch makes a difference. Tell me in the comments uh, what you think. I can always change them out. But this is what I decided to go with. And um, these red color sounds, of course, they come in almost all colors, uh, you know, all the major colors. But the red with the red and the white kit in this room with the light shining on them, oh my gosh, how cool is that gonna be? <laughs> so, this was an unboxing video, not the assembly video. So, when I assemble the drums, that'll be another video. That'll be part four of the rehearsal studio. And hopefully we'll get a special guest over here to help us with the assembly. Uh, trying to get some of my local Rockstar Vegas friends over here to help. It's like, what the hell is that noise? Like this box started moving, but it was just the, uh, the air blowing on it, I guess. It scared the shit out of me. This box, the lid was, and I heard this noise over there. I'm like, what is that noise? Like there was something at the window or something. <laughs> okay. What was I saying? Oh, trying to get my buddies over here. So, you know, listen, I can't make any promises. I'm going to do my best. Try to get some people over here to help me. Uh, put the drums together. I know how to put them together. I'll figure it out. I put together my other ones. I'm also going to do a video on the Vinnie Paul snare signature that you can get from D drum. I have the original prototype of that drum, the very first one they made. Uh, I have one of Vinnie Paul's hats, his famous cowboy dragon hat uh, that we used to scan in and get the images to make the drum. And then I have the first version of the production of the snare, and then I have their most current release of the reproduction of the snare. So if you're a big Vinnie Paul fan and you want that big giant honkin' dragon snare, I think they retail about 500 bucks. We're gonna do an extensive video all on that drum and his uh, reflex kit, which I have in the house. So if you're a big fan of drums, D-drum, and of Vinnie Paul and you're a Pantera fan, uh, this is something that you'll probably want to tune into. We're gonna, I'm going to clean this mess up and um, start kind of putting stuff together. And I'm going to have uh, some of my friends come over and help me uh, with, you know, get a case of beer. And uh, we'll all put together some drums. It'll be fun. Anyway, thanks for tuning in for this little video. If you're into this kind of stuff, like, share, and subscribe. And you know what? You always hear content creators beg you for like, shares, and subscribes. Here's why it's important. When you hit the like button, it tells YouTube that you're watching and that you're interacting. When you make a comment, it does the same thing. Subscribing is important if you want to see more content like this. Turning on the notification bell allows you to be notified whenever a new video is posted, just in case I start to get kind of shadow banned, swept under the rug. You know, I have about 118,000 subscribers and I typically am only getting about a 5% viewer rate out of those numbers out of 24 million viewers. And the reason is I'm just not getting enough personal fan interaction. So if you are one of my dedicated fans that watches our every video that I do, I need you to make a comment 
hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, do that already. I typically always get a minimum of five to 10,000 views of every video. If 5,000 people who watch this video all hit the like button and make a comment at the same time, my recommendations will go through the roof. If I start getting better feedback from the audience, I will start putting out more videos and I also take the time to read the comments. So I do respond to the comments and if you see a little heart on your comment, I did that myself. Also, I do have a Patreon for people out there who wanna to contribute to the things I do. Just check the link in the video description and if you wanna send me a present, my Amazon wish list is there. So uh, if you're a big fan if, and you wanna see more of this content, please, you have to tell me. Go into the comments and tell me what it is you wanna see. And if you're a drummer and if, hey, if you're in Las Vegas, I'm trying to put together two bands. I got my 80s new wave band that we do, and we have our Judas Priest tribute that we do. I'm looking for the entire band because when I moved from Dallas, I left all my musicians there and now I'm here. So I'm the singer for both bands. I need drummers, bass players, guitar players, keyboard players. I don't care what you do, ukulele, play tri triangle, I don't care what it is, looking for musicians. We're gonna rehearse here and I already have open invitations for some of the venues and clubs here telling me that once my band's put together, we have gigs waiting for us. People who that, that know me, they're ready for us to play. So, that's my call out to my fans. I'm gonna start cleaning up all this stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.